Absolutely, Naledi. We're actually on a construction site and I hate to disappoint our viewers because they will not see the actual process, but here's a product behind a built-up house that's been built by this three-dimensional printer uh, that's being launched today in the construction industry, but it's being launched as a form of laboratory between uh, the Department of Science and Innovation and the University of Johannesburg. Just speaking to how uh, 4IR can be brought in in terms of the delivery of houses in South Africa. And I just want to bring in now uh, Dr. Jennifer Merembe. She's with the National Department of Human Settlements. Uh, Dr. Nirembe, Nirembe, thank you so much for the time. Uh, this is a conversation that has been taking place uh, within national government and the departments for a while. How are you and the Department of Science and Innovation interacting on this project? Um, thank you so much. I just start by saying that this is an area that our minister, Minister Kuba, is extremely passionate about, and that is going the scientific way in terms of building better, smarter, and serving more South Africans. So as early as 2008, 15 years ago, the Department of Human Settlements and the Department of Science and Innovation signed a memorandum of understanding where we would invest into scientific knowledge in order to serve South Africans better in the human settlement sector. So with the launch of the three-dimensional um, machine now, we now have evidence that we have now um, procured the, the equipment. So say, for instance, there's a flood tonight, we are now better placed within a day to test materials, to put up the construction and advise which is the best technology for which context. So as we speak, there is a need in parts of South Africa, like the Eastern Cape and Guazulu-Natal, for immediate reconstruction. Are, are there any plans to immediately put this in place? What we are saying is that now we have the equipment in place to test the materials better. For instance, you've rightly said in KwaZulu-Natal and Eastern Cape, so what we are saying is that now we have a laboratory equipment in place, we have the institutional arrangement in place with the University of Johannesburg and the Department of Science and Innovation. So today as we speak as a department, we are better placed and therefore our minister can serve South Africans better. We're on a dis uh, construction site now that uh, just uh, as a display of what the capabilities of this machine are. But the people who are operating the machine are your PhD students, your honor students, your master's students. At what point do we start to uh, just take it to scale so that people in the construction industry are able to operate? Um, thank you so much. It's a technology issue. Right now, we see that we can connect to any part of the world using any technology. Therefore, because an equipment is based at the University of Johannesburg, does not limit its ability to be shared with anyone in any part of South Africa. So by being based in the University of Johannesburg, we are confident that we can link to any other university and any other community that needs any tests to be carried out quicker. We simply need to either satellite link or link within any other technology back to this laboratory, test the material and therefore more accurately serve South Africans in any um, situation. As a huge uh, demand, uh, a lot has been said about the backlogs at housing, uh, going into the millions. How do you hope to replicate this in a way that you're able to start to deliver? It's not about replication. It's about the ability that now we have a laboratory in place, we can test materials for any specific context in South Africa, therefore serve the end user better. So as South African viewer watching now, especially the ones uh, which human settlements uh, uh, is, is answerable to, wondering how soon can I get my house? It's not about how soon you can get your house, it's about how better tested you can get a product. You, 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 you imagine uh, that, that that suffices? Yes, 
because now with a laboratory active at the University of Johannesburg with a partnership with the Department of Science Innovation and the Department of Human Settlements, we are confident that we can say, let us test the type of concrete that was used within a particular context. Okay. Let us test the type of bricks that have been used in a particular context. Let us test the form of the building that has been constructed in any context. Therefore, we have upped our game in terms of accuracy. We've upped our game in terms of ability to explore different yeah. forms, different materials, and different um, end users. Of course, this is a science and innovation and UJ project, but there's an overlap with human settlements. Yeah. What is your actual involvement in the project? Our actual involvement in the project is, is like I've said, is dates as far as 2008 when they had the memorandum of understanding between the science and innovation department. Therefore, we, we formed a tripatriate um, agreement whereby it's the Department of Human Settlements that builds, the Department of Science and Innovation that invests in science and innovation, and then the academia, the University of Johannesburg. So you see that now with academia coming up with the latest findings within the academic world, the Department of Science and Innovation coming up with the latest findings on how government can invest in science and innovation and the Department of Human Settlements that invests on on-ground building construction, you can see that now we're stronger and better and serving in a more smarter way in any contest, no matter what will happen in the community. Of course, today we're speaking about a launch. Uh, our viewers are probably wondering about uh, a time when we'll start to see um, suburbs, areas where we're saying uh, the houses built in that area are your 3D uh, production houses. What are the plans in this regard at Human Settlements? At this point, we have launched um, the 3D technology. We have the lab in place. Therefore, now the next step is then to develop the implementation plan, as in where and when. But at the moment, we can confidently say the laboratory is in place. No matter what South Africans find themselves in, whether it's a flood, whether it's a fire, we can test the house within 24 hours which is fantastic. Thank you so much, Dr. Jennifer Mirembe from the National Department of Housing, just uh, giving us a sense of that overlap between her department and the Department of Science and Innovation in terms of what they're doing in this project where the Department of Innovation and Science together with the University of Johannesburg are launching the three-dimensional uh, printer that will be uh, working in the construction uh, uh, section of course as you see at the back there we have an already fully constructed house uh, but uh, at a later stage in our crossings we will bring you the actual process uh, of how the printer works and we hope that uh, our viewers can stick around for that one. Naledi?